Hi, did you get one over in brochures? Did you know we have free pregnancy tests and free ultrasounds right across the street? Can I give you one of these? Oh, okay. In the fight to save unborn babies, this is the front line of the battle, the sidewalk, where volunteers and Life Choice interns for the Coalition for Life throughout the year and in all kinds of weather pray fervently for the mothers, the fathers, and the unborn children whose lives are at stake on the other side of this fence. Yeah, okay, you yeah, guys turn around and walk across the street with it. Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in the state of Missouri. So the prayers here are ongoing. So yeah, across the street they're doing free pregnancy testing, free ultrasounds, all for free. If Planned Parenthood is open, the Coalition for Life staff and volunteers are here outside the iron fence, praying and counseling those who might stop to listen about the violent, evil reality of what awaits them inside. To give you some information, we've got free pregnancy tests and free ultrasounds right across the street. Would you like a brochure with some information in it? Free services, free pregnancy tests and free ultrasounds. The mission is simple. Save the unborn by presenting an immediate, tangible, and free alternative to the women and men entering the clinic. All right, so we know that all the resources in here are free, and we got free pregnancy testing. Free Some don't or won't listen. Did you know we have free pregnancy tests and free ultrasounds? It's right across the street. We love women like Kyla, whose boyfriend, when they found out she was pregnant, insisted abortion was the only option. He didn't want to have anything to do with me. That was what he wanted. I didn't have a good job. I didn't know nothing about taking care of a child. I was scared. I didn't, I wasn't expecting this. I was going to school, had my life together, and now I have to put that on hold. So I was scared. I cried a lot. Now four months pregnant and with her mind made up, Kyla drove herself to Planned Parenthood. She vividly remembers the experience. So I went by myself. The room was filled with tears. None of the workers were talking to us or comforting us or anything. I believe she drew my blood first. She didn't ask me if I, wanted to, if I was sure about this decision. She didn't ask anything. All the time outside, the volunteers continued to pray that God would work miracles to save the lives of these babies. Kyla, meantime, scheduled the appointment for the abortion and went home. But now she seemed to know God might have a different plan. It was now that a friend told her about a pregnancy resource center called Thrive, where she could get a free ultrasound. I sat down, I told her I was not ready for a child. This, I, I couldn't go to school if I had a child. I didn't have a good job or anything. So she sat down, she told me that everything would be okay, that I had options, that they would be there for me. She genuinely cared. After that, we did the ultrasound. They asked if I wanted to see it, I said yes. So we sat in that room for maybe 30 minutes, listening to the heartbeat, looking at the ultrasound. The ultrasound changed everything. For the first time, Kyla, could see her baby. That's my baby. I have to keep her. She's mine. I, I have to keep her. She's a part of me. This is real. This is a baby. I have to keep her. I knew I wasn't financially stable, but I knew God would make a way. I knew something would happen. Five months later, weighing three pounds, 13 ounces, a baby named Kylie was born. God was right in my heart. He knew everything that was going on. He knew I would make it through. I knew he would be there for me. I knew he wouldn't give me anything that I couldn't handle. I feel courageous because I had the strength to choose life. I had the strength to put everything on hold and tend to my daughter. She has just made me a stronger person. I couldn't imagine my life without her. I can't, and I just can't stop saying thank you. Meantime, back on the sidewalk outside Planned Parenthood, the Coalition for Life staff and volunteers continue to show up every day, 
praying God will continue to work in the hearts of these young women. It is here where God answers those prayers and lives are turned around, where mothers like Kyla find out they are not alone, where they begin to discover there is a better way, and where babies like Kylie now have a chance at life. I can't imagine my life without her. She's made me stronger. She's made me more independent. She's made me a better person, a stronger woman. She is the love of my life. She is beautiful. She is smart. She's one of a kind. I love her so much.